All right, before I get into the video, I got a few things I want to address. I personally do not give a fuck about tier lists and what characters are the best in the game. More than likely, you will not see me explain or do tutorials on S tier characters. It's not happening. I don't give a fuck about them. With that being said, you won't see them unless I'm beating up on them. All right, second thing is I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing. I know I don't drop videos every day like some people but when i drop videos i'm gonna make sure it's a banger all right let's get to it this devore shit y'all let people jump in too much when y'all use devore this is usually what happens and y'all respect jump ins she got some good buttons we're gonna explain this that's her one two that's four and that's three and this is with them jumping on the other side. All her buttons are good for anti-air. When they got a good little distance from you, she got forward one and her four. All right, y'all all know this move. If you play Devorah, I don't need to explain this move. The little bug shit and her little other puddle shit. All right. I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing right here. Soon as I anti-air them, I drop a bug. Or I drop something for a setup. I don't know the name for it. I apologize for that. But just pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm playing around the bug I drop, especially once you learn the timing on how it comes out. Devora already, like she already need buffs. We can all agree, the whole community can agree with that. She needs buffs, but you need to take advantage of certain shit that she has when the opportunity is presented to you. A lot of people zone this character out. Her projectiles are shit. That's me being 100. They are terrible. A lot of her shit is unsafe, but if you can get somebody to jump in on you, ball is in your court. You feel me? And this is just setups I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to get people frustrated. You know what I mean? Like, especially if they put themselves in a corner, it's a wrap, man. I'm gonna have to make more videos on that and the other variation because you can get real deadly with her. It's just, it's just that neutral game. It's she like, she kind of lacking, bro. But yeah, stop letting motherfuckers jump in on you. That's a big part of being good with her, in my opinion. I mean, in the current state she's in right now. Like to be 100, she need damage buffs. She need more strings, better frame data. A lot of shit is unsafe and she needs some crushing blows. Like, bruh, come on. I'm playing around that setup. Like, and that's another thing with y'all. Just learning more to combat in general. Slow down. Y'all impatient, dog. You gotta be patient. Like, just slow down. Analyze what's going on. Fill out your opponent. Pause. Once you drop that bug for the setup, be patient and react to whatever the opponent is doing. Because you know they have defensive wake-ups. And they just have ways to get out of stuff. So just punish accordingly. This is not a character you can be pure rush down with, but I think I explained enough in this video. I like to keep it under five minutes or just kissing five minutes, but I'm gonna be back with some more heat.